We at BI Samurai have just finished developing a Power BI report for one of our call center clients. So when I heard that Enterprise DNA Challenge 19 was about call center data, I was quite excited because I was looking forward to actually take your reports from the challenge and compare it to our real live report that we developed for the client. So um, I'm hoping that we can actually learn something. Uh, and also I thought that, you know, if I learn something, maybe we should also teach you guys that take the challenge something that we learned when we did a real life project for a call center client. So I decided to do this video and showcasing one specific requirement that came up from the client. Of course, the client wanted to have a global overview with KPIs to know where they stand and how business is doing, but they also wanted to be able to drill through into the details and they wanted to drill through all the way to the single phone call level where they would see which sales representative has called which client for how long they were on the phone what the outcome of this specific phone call was and so on and then what they wanted to be able to do was to just select a single call and just press a button or, or a hyperlink within the Power BI report and that link would then open up uh, a phone call from their internal phone software. So I'm gonna show you how this is done. Before we do this, let me just quickly look at what data we need to actually get this to work. The data I have loaded was the one provided by Enterprise DNA for the challenge. Um, but because this data doesn't contain any phone numbers, I needed to generate some, some phone numbers because that's exactly what we need to make an actual phone call. So let me get started. Basically, um, you might recognize these tables because that's the ones that were provided. Um, the one we're going to be looking at is the calls table because that's where we basically have, that's our facts table where we have the single phone calls. So when I go and jump into the calls table, you see that I have added a calculated column called phone number, which basically just concatenates plus 41, which is the country code for Switzerland, with a randomly generated number that can then be our, our sample phone numbers. So that's what we need to get this working. And then what I did was, and again, um, I'm just going to focus on the specific functionality, how to make a phone call from Power BI, but uh, I didn't try to make this look nice. I'm going to leave this to you guys taking the challenge. Um, just going to give you a little hint and then um, I'm excited to see how many of you will actually be using this uh, in the challenge. So let me just show you how this actually works. Um, so we have these two visuals in here and maybe one thing I forgot to mention. In order to be able to do this, we, we need to import some custom visuals from AppSource. I'm going to show you two different ways how this was done and one of them is completely free and for the other one you will need to get a license. So it will work with a free trial license that's valid for 30 days, which should be good enough to, to finish the challenge. Um, and the other one, because we use less DAX code, um, it's just simply within the free version of the visual. So the visual I'm using here is the HTML text styler. And I just quickly want to show you that actually the Unlock Pro is deactivated, which means I didn't add any license key. And the other visual is the HTML and CSS viewer. Both are available from AppSource. You can simply import them by going to get more visuals. And then you can search for Kate team. And these are the two visuals that I was using. So get them from there. Uh, and if needed, also, of course, get, get a free trial. So what happens when I sell, I haven't selected a phone number. I just get this little message telling me that please select a phone number or a line in the table to activate this. And once I've selected, both visuals change. So now I get this little 
message says call this number and down here I, I get the button. Because we're using HTML and CSS, we're completely dynamic with what text we have, how we format it, and the same thing for this button. I'm not saying this is a nice looking button. Um, you're completely dynamic with what your button should look like. If you think of it, HTML, CSS is what is used to create websites. And on websites, there's tons of different buttons. So there's hover effects, there's different colors, there is um, square buttons and round buttons, and I don't know, um, anything you could think of could be done with HTML, CSS. That's just simply not what this video is about. I'm just showing the general functionality of creating these links because as far as I know, there's currently no native Power BI functionality that lets you create a link that makes a phone call from within the report. Okay, so let's look at the code that was used. Um, basically, first I created a variable which is just returning the, the phone number of the selected row. If this variable is blank, then I want to see this message which tells the user please first select the phone number uh, in order to be able to make a phone call. And then that's really where the magic happens. So this is some HTML code. Um, the ahref creates a hyperlink and then the tell means that actually this hyperlink should start a phone call. Uh, and then we take the phone number from the variable and this part here is what is actually displayed down here. So the selected number from the variable which goes in here and also in here. Uh, so this is the number we selected. That's also the one that I would call if I now clicked on this link. So let's see this in action. When I click on this, I get this little pop-up which tells me that currently I would start a phone call using Skype. That's just how I have configured this in my Windows settings. So normally you would uh, activate this this box here because I don't want to see this message every single time. For demo purposes, I'm not going to activate this um, so I can still see this later on. And then I just say open and that opens up my Skype. Um, the phone number I've selected is already pre-populated. I just need to select call and the call would start. If you're using a different call software than Skype, this is something that can be configured in, in the Windows settings. So for now, I'm just going to keep um, my Skype and just want to show you, same thing happens when I select the second button, Skype opens and I get the, the phone number, I can make the call. The second button uh, is styled a bit differently uh, and this is also why we needed a different visual, the HTML CSS viewer, and also in this specific case, we need to add a license key because we have more than 150 characters in, in our code. Um, feel free to download this report. We'll provide a link down in the comments. And then you can search the internet for HTML CSS buttons, or also it's quite easy to understand the code in here and make small adjustments. So if we look at it, the overall DAX is the same thing. The only thing that's different is this style part where we define in CSS how the button should be styled. For example, we define that the background color should be black. So if you want this to be blue, just type blue in there and now the button's background is blue. Also, if you want to change the, the radius or the height or the text alignment, anything, there's a lot of code already in here, uh, but more styling options could be added. Um, for the button itself, I decided that um, a phone would be a nice emoji to show in there. For the ones of you that don't know how to add emojis, you simply press Windows and full stop or dot on your keyboard and that opens up the emojis keyboard and then you just scroll through the emojis and select the one that you like 
and it will be added to your to your docs. Um, I just realized that I'm in, in front of this so let me just move myself over so you can see that here is actually where I define what we have in in the button and again I could change this to any emoji or just some regular text. So yeah okay I guess that's basically already what I wanted to show. Um, again this is from a real life Power BI project for a call center client. It's not something that I just came up with. Uh, I find this quite useful. They found it quite useful. And I'm very excited to see how many of you will be adding call buttons to your challenge. So thank you very much for watching and good luck with the Enterprise DNA challenge number 19. Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in to Enterprise DNA TV. If you enjoyed the contents covered in this particular tutorial, please throw the video a like. It really helps us and we really appreciate it. Also, don't forget to subscribe to the Enterprise DNA TV channel. Uh, we have a huge amount of content coming out all the time from myself and a range of content creators, uh, all dedicated to improving the way that you use Power BI and the Power Platform. Lastly, check out Enterprise DNA's website, plenty of resources and further learning that you can access very easily. All the best, take care.